household cleaning products. Mm-hmm. How are we doing the time? Household cleaning products, um, you can get it anywhere in the in the supermarket. Mm-hmm. Yep, all these things. When I go through the supermarket aisle in those containing those those products, I just can't stand the smell. Mm. Personally, no, no, no. I have a natural aversion. Natural aversion. Yeah. Household cleaning products, carcinogens. Mm-hmm. Carcinogens cause cancer and or promote cancer growth. Endocrine, endocrine disruptors. Mm-hmm. Endocrine disrupt, uh, disruptors mimic human human hormones, causing reproductive, re- de- developmental, and growth and behavior problems. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. the hormones, yeah. Hormones. Yeah. Endocrine disruptors have been linked to reduced fertility, premature puberty, miscarriage, menstrual problems, challenged immune systems, abnormal prostate size, ADHD, mm-hmm. non Hawkins. Lymphoma and certain cancers, mm. neurotoxins, neurotoxins or neurons affecting brain activity, causing a range of problems from headaches to loss of intellect. Mm. Very dangerous. Pesticides, one of the most counterintuitive health threats is that of products that disinfect. Common sense tells us that killing he- household germs protects our health. However, disinfectants are pesticides, and the ingredients in pesticides often include carcinogens and endocrine disruptors. Pesticides are fat soluble, make th- making them difficult de- to eliminate from the body. Once, in- once injected, pesticides include disinfectants may include gang- alkylphen- <laughs> alkylphenol, alkylphenol, ethyl. <laughs> Ethoxylates. <laughs> Sorry, ethoxylates, even for me. You see, yeah. this is even, even difficult for, 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 for native speakers. <laughs> no, I'm meant to be a professional native speaker, even, you know. Yeah, yeah even for me, yeah. So th- that's a warning. If it's difficult for me to pronounce it, then there's it, something wrong with it, I yeah. think. You know. APEs. APEs mm. is just excess surf- surfactants. Yep. Yeah. Which kind of break down the water molecules so you can get oh, in the oh, grease oh, and that kind yeah. of thing. Meaning they lower the surface tension of liquids and help cleansing so- solutions spread more easily over the surface to be cleaned and penetrate solids. ABEs are found in detergents, disinfectants, all purpose cleaners, and laundry cleaners, cleansers. They are also found in many self care items, including smes- spermicides. spermicides, sanitary towels, and disposable diaper- diapers. ABEs are endocrine disruptors. Mm. I agree, yeah. No, I don't. No. I don't know how to. Say. Formaldehyde. Formaldehyde. Mm-hmm. Formaldehyde is commonly known as a preservative. Many people do not know it is also a germicide, bactericide, fungicide, among other functions. Formaldehyde is found in household cleaners and disinfectants. It is also present in nail polish and other personal care products. Formaldehyde is a carcinogen. Mm. Very good pronunciation. Um, as far as I know, it is used in preserving the the corpse, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I. Th- yeah, originally that's what we all Formaldehyde. know, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah that the smell, yeah, that's the most famous use of it, really. Organochlorines. Mm. Organochlorines result result from combination of hydrogen and carbon. Some types are highly deadly, such as DDT. OCs are bioaccumulative mm-hmm. and also highly persistent in the environment. OCs are present in pesticides, detergents, degreasers, and bleaches. OCs are also present in dry cleaning fluids. OCs are carnogens and endocrine mm-hmm. disruptors. Yeah, bioaccumulative. It builds up. It doesn't go away. It builds up. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. It builds up in your system. What is this? Styrene. Styrene is so a like, neg- yeah. yeah, like polystyrene, you know, like those... those um, Lunch boxes that we saw. Here. Okay, yeah. styrene is a naturally occurring substance derived from the styrene, styrex tree. Styrene is more common, commonly used in the manufacture of new, numerous plastics, including plastic footwear, insulated clubs, insulated cups, carpet pancake backing, and PVC piping. Styrene is also found in floor waxes and polishes and metal cleaners. Styrene is a non car cano- Carcinogen. Car- carcinogens, as well as endo- endocrine disruptor. Exposure may affect the central nervous system, liver, and reproductive system. Again, the reproductive system again. <laughs> <laughs> phthalates, 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 phthalates. Phthalates is the most com- is more are most 
commonly used in the manufacture of plastics and as carrier of perfumes and air fresheners and as skin's penetration enhancer for products such as moisturizers. Mm. And these chemicals are classified in, as inert and as such, no product labeling requirement exists. So you don't even know they're there. No, you no, know, there's some poisons that are not even listed, you're not even labeled on the product. Mm. You know? mm. yeah. Phylates are endocrine disruptors and are dis and suspected carcinogens. Phylates are known for co to cause hormone abnormalities, thyroid disorders, birth defects, and reproductive problems. Mm, again. Volatile organic compounds, VOCs. VOCs are emitted as gas, gases uh, suspending themselves in the air, which meant, mean, mean that when you spray them, mm -hmm. they will. That's right, they're hanging in the air. Hanging in the air. VOCs include an array of chemicals, some of which may have short and long term adverse health effects, and are present in perfumes, air fresheners, disinfectants, deodorizers. VOCs commonly include propane, butane, ethanol, phthalates, and formaldehyde. Mm, isn't it ironic you freshen your air with something that is so poisonous? Yeah, should should we tell our girlfriends about, about this? Uh, it, we can tell them, you know, but it's very difficult, you know, because because, because of the cultural conditioning, you know? Yeah. You know, I'm a girl, so I must have, I must have my... You know, my, my perfume, you know. Yeah. I'm not a girl if I don't have my perfume. I'm not all girls, you know, but. <laughs> Volatile organic compounds, we all see these compounds pose a variety of human health has, hazards and collective are thought to be reproductive toxins, neurotoxins, liver toxins, carcinogens. Again, yeah. So that's what, you know, that's where all this stuff is coming from. That's where all these, car, all these cancers are coming from, you know, that's why I made a program. Isn't yeah. It? Household cleaning products. Symptoms of exposure to these types of substances include headaches, backaches, stiff joints, nausea, mm. diarrhea, asthma, and allergic attacks, dizziness, memory loss, stuttering. How come that's stuttering? <laughs> Stutter, stuttering, yeah, because you know. <laughs> Premature puberty, mm. low sperm count, reduced motor skills, sudden mood swings, dyslexia. 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 H ADHD, antisocial behavior, autism, and birth defects, among others. Mm. And that's where it's all coming from, you know. And this is the thing, you know, it gets me, this naph na naphthalene. Um, when you have um, clothes, mm -hmm. um, people will put this in. Yeah. yeah. And you see what it does to them. I'm, I sit on the MTR, I think, why are you poisoning me? Because, you know, <laughs> when it turns to winter here, you know, when the autumn comes, yeah. it's, ah, <clears throat> because it causes hemolytic anemia, which mm. means that you bleed too easily. When you get cut, the, it won't stop bleeding, mm. you know? Damage to the liver. Mm -hmm. And in infants, neurological damage. Mm. Symptoms of acute exposure include headache, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, malaise, mm. confusion, anemia, jaundice, convulsions, and coma. Cataracts. Mm. Oh, this is new to me. Mm. Again, what is the... It's quite funny, really, because... Um, one of, one of my grandmothers, she mm. had cataracts. Yeah. And I do remember the smell of naphthalene in the oh, house. Oh, 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 yeah. I remember the always smell of naphthalene. Yeah. And, and she had cataracts. She became almost blind in the end. Mm. Yeah. So again, house. we don't want to scare you. And just to tell you how serious it really is. I didn't realize how serious it is, you know. And so for cleaning the house, back to our, our friend we introduced before, you know, is it the... Oh, you, 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 you told me about this. That's right, the soap berries before, yeah. you know. These are the main thing, you know, the soap berries. Oh, actually, you get a, a an end product. Yeah, that's right. So you, you, you show it to the, to the audience. This one's a bit too big. Mm. This one's more filtered, yeah. Yeah. That's the end product, yeah. Yeah, how do you use it? And you just, we, we haven't got the sponge today, have we? Mm. Just put it on a sponge and, and wipe your surfaces with it mm. or put about this amount into, into a washing machine with a full washing machine of clothes. Mm. And it's done, this can clean everything. And okay. really effectively. Yeah. Really effectively. It's, it's, it's so natural again. Yeah. yeah. You can you can, you can you can smell it. You can yeah. smell. Oh. Mm. Very fast. It's like a fruit, because it is a fruit, you know. Mm. So berries or soap nuts can be used for washing clothes, washing dishes, or on cabinets and cupboards, walls and doors, floors, stainless steel, and other metal metal, wood tables, shoes, granite and marble, classic and around pads and kits, sinks, toilets, showers, and mm. tops. The around pets and kids, it means like you don't have to go 
lock it in a cupboard, you know, the ch children get, oh, the children get those chemicals and, 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 and eat them, then, they, then, they're, then they're, they're big trouble, they have to go yeah, to the hospital, yeah, yeah. it even says that. You know, somebody in, in this studio, want to wash it and eat it mm -hmm. together. <laughs> well, I have heard, uh, I, I, I'm somebody who did by mistake, uh, yeah. did drink it actually, yeah. but uh, they thought it didn't taste very nice, but no problem. No problem. No. No. Because, you know. So berries and soap nice can be used as a glass cleaner with a little vinegar. But I found you don't need the vinegar actually. Mm -hmm. so. um, shampoo, body and face wash, insect and mosquito repellent to wash your pets and all their Paraphernalia. Paraphernalia, yeah. Uh, paraphernalia. <laughs> I love that word. Yeah. Juries, yeah. cars, etc. Mm -hmm. So versatile. Mm -hmm. There's some people simply put some vinegar, you know, vinegar. some vinegar. This is mm. so simple. In, you put some orange peel, leave it for a couple of weeks. Mm. You know, I haven't tried that one myself. Vinegar is not registered as a dis uh, in disinfectant with the EPA. It will kill both the salmonella and E. coli. Mm. Two bacteria you want to avoid. Consequently, um, white um, vinegar can be used to clean loads of things around your home. Pictured orange peel in vinegar. Leave it, live for two weeks before mm -hmm. use. According to DIY Network, mm -hmm. lemons are natural disinfectant and stain remover before because of their acidity. Clean dishes, laminate, countertops, mm -hmm. sinks, baths. Etc. Lemon inhibit the growth of bacteria. For stubborn clean cleaning tasks, you can use baking soda. I've, I found this more effective than the lemon, actually, mm. in, in, in tests. <laughs> okay, you know. Environment environmental toxins. Mm. So we, we so we've cleaned you know we've cleaned our um, water right? our water the toothpaste the food we eat mm. uh, the things we use for our body the things in the house and everything. But after having done all that, then when then we go to there are environmental toxins. So, in in your office or in your in the school and where I work, or in your housing estate, in the grounds of your housing estate. Um, the list of cancers associated with pesticides: childhood and adult leukemia, childhood brain cancer, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, lymphoma mm -hmm. neuroblastoma, mm -hmm. neuroblastoma. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah, brain cancer. Post free cancer, kidney cancer, pancreatic cancer, lung cancer. Mm. It's full by toxins. No? As well as causing many types of cancers, pesticides are also unknown to affect fetuses. Fetuses, yeah. What? Fetuses. Yeah. Fetuses. Mm. Fetuses. Mm. Fetuses in pregnant women. Endocrine disruptors, hormones, reproductive system, ADHD. Sorry, that's done. Sorry, should we say ADHD? Yeah. Yeah. Parkinson's, deficit, Parkinson's so. disease. Yeah. Although, from the pressures of two members of the tropic and electrical member, diazonin mm -hmm. and paraquat, mm -hmm. neurotoxins will be banned from use in the pesticide amendment bill in 2014. You mean this is in, Ho in Hong Kong? Mm -hmm. This is in Hong Kong, yeah. In I've, Hong been Kong. To the, I've been to the reading of the bill, actually. Okay. You know? mm. This will not be for two years, and even then, Permethrin. Permethrin, neurotoxin and endocrine disruptor and other pesticides will still be allowed to use in school and public place. Mm -hmm. So even though some people are trying to stop, trying to stop it, you know, there's still, there's still pesticides being sprayed mm. in like every housing estate, every school, every workplace, wherever you go. Mm. So you need something else. You, you, you've cleaned up your own lifestyle, but mm. on the outside, you're still going to encounter more poisons, you know? Yeah. So... But there are certain things you can do. You can have this wheatgrass. Yeah, body strength, strengtheners and detoxify, mm -hmm. detoxifiers. Mm -hmm. Wheatgrass contains 19 minerals, including potassium, sodium, and magnesium. It builds red blood cells to carry oxygen, cleanses blood with vitamins B, C, E, and carotene mm -hmm. by eliminating, eliminating free radicals. It is an immune system booster with 19 minerals and 19 amino acids. Amino acids is the basic protein, Thank the you. basic yeah, yeah. protein. Right, yeah. Which class is cancer preventing by helping to alkalize and detoxify blood cells? It has active enzymes which play a major role in breaking down fats. It is an energy booster. Aids with digestion and promote bowel cleansings. It detoxifies mm. your body. And I tried it about uh, seven or eight years ago. Mm. I found it was quite effective, mm. but the taste? Is bad. 
all that. It's horrible. <laughs> it's one of the worst things I ever tasted. You know, we, but so it must be doing you good, I suppose. But yeah, yeah. but I, I found it was just the taste was too. But it was effective. You know? Yeah, I haven't actually tried this one. Uh, Sadie has known that uh, how to Fukuyin Fukuyin mm. perform various functions <laughs> like anti-allergic actions, inhib inhibition. Inhibition of blood co coagulation, co coagulation, lowering of cholesterol level. Cholesterol. Cholesterol. <laughs> that's, the, that's the bad fat in the blood bad vessels. Fat. Yeah. Cholesterol. Mm -hmm. Antiviral action. Mm -hmm. However, what promoted the new Foucaultian boom was a series of clinical reports that shows the effectiveness of Foucaultian in the treatment of cancer. The cancer fighting action of Foucaultian include immune Activation, mm. angiogenesis, mm. apoptosis. Get it, did I get it right? Apoptosis. 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 But angiogenesis here means it rebuilds the yeah. the blood vessels. Yeah. Yeah. It rebuilds the blood vessels. Right? Self destruction of cancer cells. Mm. Now this is one that, that I use quite a bit. I got some here. You know. Mm. Um, so maybe you can read it while I'm getting. The extraordinary benefits of. Chlorella, 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 okay. liver detoxifier, blood cleanser, body detoxifier, immune system booster, boosters, normalize high blood pressure. How do you? And here we are. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You show it to me before. Yeah. See, it smells okay, doesn't it? And just put a few on your hand here. Mm. Then you. Then you, you just drip with some water, just wash it down with some water. Oh. Yeah, be, before meals, I have it at the beginning of the day. Oh, you, you, yeah. you drink it? Mm -hmm. you, you eat it, yeah, and just yeah. wash it down with I the suppose water. It, I suppose they, it, come from, it comes from Japan. This one comes from Japan, yeah. I think, uh, to me, the Japanese is a bit better. The, the Taiwanese also make it, that's cheaper, but mm. I think it's about, that's two thirds cheaper, but I think it's two thirds as good. Yeah. But really, you feel so much stronger, you can feel that you've been detoxified. Mm. Spirulina, mm -hmm. potent content content is higher than that of chlorella. 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 Chlorella yeah. <laughs> yeah. More than sixty percent, and the protein in the uh, spirulina is superior to all animal and plant based proteins. Its nutritional content also includes essential fatty acids, GLA fatty acids, lipids, nucleic acids, B complex, vitamins B, C, B, and E. Carotenoids. Carotenoids. <laughs> Chlorophyll. 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 Phyco. Cyanin. 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 And here we are. Look. Here's something very similar, right? When yeah. you get you know, again, you mm. put it into dissolve yeah. it into water. No, don't dissolve it. You just just put a few, you know, and it's like you're taking a tablet, you know. Just, just. So many of them. Um, <laughs> I actually take about um, ten of these and twenty of the other one. Yeah. Yeah. You need some water, really. It's water. Mm. Okay. <laughs> mm. You're ready. Mm -hmm. Spirulina also strengthens the immune system and helps fight infection. It also works as a detox like chlorella. It has also been used for treating high cholesterol, intestinal difficulties, allergies, anemia, arthritis, internal inflammation, Diabetes, gout, hypoglycemia, <laughs> malnutrition, radiation poisoning, combating stroke and heart Heart's damage. Yeah. Heart damage. Mm -hmm. So really, the, the recommended is to, is to take one to two. Mm. The main difference is that chlorella is a richer source of chlorophyll, so it works better for cleansing and detoxifying, mm. while spirulina is the best source of protein, more than 12 times higher than beef and good fat, that is essential for the brain. Spirulina is also high in phycocyanin, mm. right, phycocyanin <laughs> which fights cancer. Mm. To make the best out of it and get the full advantage of this superfood, take both in the ratio spirulina one mm. to chlorella two. Yeah. yeah. Again, the conclusion is the natural non-toxic lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's the key point. It's natural, really. Natural. 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 You know, so just a few simple things a few simple herbs and that kind of thing yeah a few simple herbs that's all you need and you know some fruit and some herbs yeah you see this is um very very precious content because um 
this is the first time that I heard about we are living in a, such a dangerous environment. And as I said, it's insidious. 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 It's, 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 it, it acts slowly mm. and secretly. Mm. You know, you can't smell a lot of these things. You can't see them. You don't know what they are. Mm. They're attacking, attacking, invisible. Mm. Invisible attackers, isn't it? Invisible. Yeah. You can't see them, you know, and it's very slowly. It takes 20 years for Alzheimer's to be fully blown. So, to conclude, mm. if you want to be a healthy person, if you have, want to have a healthy mind, mm -hmm. if you want to be to have a healthy body, mm -hmm. listen to this and remember yeah. what we said. And, and, and live naturally. Live naturally. Live naturally. Live simply so you can simply live. <laughs> live live naturally. Yeah. Live simply. Yeah. And the most important thing of all, live happily. Happily. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's good. Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's my bottom line. Yeah. <laughs> it's happiness. Yeah. So yeah. that's the time for this um, program. And see you next time. Thanks very much. 梁锦祥工作室喺呢一个网络言论自由被打压嘅年代，我哋依然坚持自我，做好节目，坚拒自我审查，因为我哋相信内容有价，而你哋嘅支持就至关重要。请大家订阅梁锦祥工作室 Patreon， 并立刻成为付费会员，守护自由言论。而我哋喺 YouTube 频道上面嘅每一节节目，都要麻烦大家记得按赞、分享、留言同埋揿钟仔啊！感谢大家一直支持梁锦祥工作室节目。